Hello everyone, my name is Paolo De Petris and today I'm going to present our work Risk-Aware Motion Planning for Collision-Tolerant Aerial Robots Subject to Localization Uncertainty. This work has been conducted in collaboration with my colleagues Mihir Darmadikari, Juan Gwen, and my supervisor Kostas Alexis. In the past decades, MAVs have been often tasked to navigate in highly confined obstacle field environments and to operate subject to conditions of severe perceptual degradation and lack of GPS, which in their combination tend to increase their localization and mapping uncertainty. In such conditions, successfully identifying a collision-free path is far from trivial, even when one exists, especially because of the uncertainty. Collision-tolerant flying robots have been developed to mitigate some of the risks and have been successfully utilized in industrial applications, although limited to teleoperation. With this work, we contribute a novel risk-aware motion planning algorithm that provides a unified treatment to the threats and hazards that a collision-tolerant aerial robot faces due to unavoidable localization uncertainty and the impact of possible collisions in highly cluttered environments. By allowing the set of safe and admissible solutions to contain paths that present collisions within a limit of kinetic energy at impact, the planner can balance the risks posed to the robot when selecting a path subject to uncertainty and offer the ability to fly fast but safely in challenging densely obstacle-filled environments. As depicted in the figure, the proposed RAM planner performs planning based on motion primitives that respect the dynamics of the multi-rotor map and operates in a receding horizon fashion. Using the 3D position as the planning state, at every iteration the method builds a library of motion primitive by sampling a set of waypoints for each primitive. The method samples n points in the C space, with each being a tunable distance d apart. To probabilistically enhance the ability of the algorithm to find admissible solutions, an additional population of endpoint sequences is also derived with each of the endpoints being a random configuration in the C space. Subsequently, each motion primitive is generated by calculating a minimum snap trajectory passing through these waypoints, using the current position and velocity of the robot as initial state. Based on this model for the robot position state and uncertainty, the method evaluates a candidate motion primitive and accounts for the possible collisions resulting from it in an uncertainty-aware manner. Specifically, a set of points are sampled from the covariance, including the mean estimate of the position, and the possible trajectories are calculated with these points as the starting state. To sample the covariance over the planning state C, we derive a set of 2L plus 1 sigma points computed from the density according to the equation reported in the slide. At a sample iteration k, and provided the sample set of mean and uncertainty-aware motion primitive sets, the method identifies the instances within each path that it collides with the environment map. For each generated path, the method first identifies the possible collision points in each step of the motion horizon of the primitive. Then, it identifies for each step the possible collision points with maximum velocity and associated kinetic energy. For every collision inclusive path, its risk should be weighted according to the probability P of the mean or uncertainty aware starting point C of S. Finally, the collision cost of the jth primitive takes the form of the equation reported in the slide. In this equation, W and C is a tunable positive weight for each step and the earlier step of the motion primitive carry more weight with respect to a possible collision. Additionally, the primitives for which after a certain point all the path is in collision are pruned, up to the point where the non-continuously colliding path ends. Provided the non-pruned safe sample uncertainty aware and collision inclusive motion primitives, as well as the defined collision cost metrics, we formulate an overall risk aware objective that allows a collision tolerant aerial robot to identify and optimize path towards the reference destination that is admissible and safe within the currently known map. To that end, we define a sub-objective reflecting how close a primitive is to the reference destination over all steps of the horizon. 
We then define a collective objective that accounts for both the extent to which a motion primitive optimizes the goal of reaching a destination and eliminates or reduces the impact of a collision as can be seen in the collective objective equation. WD and WC are positive tunable weights that balance the importance of moving towards the desired destination and employing as safe as possible paths. In order to evaluate the performance of the proposed RAM planner, we present a set of simulation studies as well as an experimental evaluation in an indoor environment with varying obstacle density. The first simulation study evaluates the performance of RAM planner in the presence of varying obstacle density and two different levels of localization uncertainty. The environment consists of three regions with increasing obstacle density. The robot starts outside the least dense region and is commanded to go through the obstacle field to reach a goal on the other side. The performance of the planner is evaluated in two configurations, A, allowing collisions within safety limits, and B, completely collision-free navigation. As reported in the right-hand side pictures, without allowing safe collisions, the robot is unable to reach the goal under high localization uncertainty, and it can only reach the goal under low uncertainty condition. In the second simulation study, the robot is commanded to reach a goal that requires it to pass through four circular openings of decreasing diameter ranging from 2 to 0.6 meters. Due to the size of the robot and having introduced uncertainty in the localization, the planner must choose a path such that at least one of the uncertain primitives or the mean primitive is in collision within the allowed limits. As depicted in this slide, the method can successfully plan through all four openings. To further evaluate the proposed risk-aware motion planner, an experiment was conducted using the RMF OWL aerial robot. In this experiment, the robot is commanded to reach a set point at the end of an obstacle field corridor in which three increasingly narrower passages have been placed. As depicted in the figure, the dimensions of the passages are roughly four 2.5 and 1.5 times the size of the RMF OWL respectively. Note that the covariance matrix provided by the onboard localization solution was inflated 3000 times to replicate a scenario with high localization uncertainty. For this experiment, we used two step primitives and a total number of 888 possible motions. The average computational cost on the onboard computer of the RMF OWL is 350 milliseconds. As can be seen in the video, after takeoff, the planner is triggered and the robot safely traverses the first of the three passages. While approaching the second gap, the traveling speed is reduced as is described in the previous slides and increased again before the robot reaches the final gap. In this case, all the generated paths result in collision when considering uncertainty and the robot must accept a possibly colliding path to be able to reach the goal location. Thank you all for your kind attention. Please do not hesitate to ask your questions or send an email to the address reported here.